Hello, cafe cats. How are you guys doing? I know it's been a bit. The last couple of videos, I've had to put some music on just because I just didn't have time to edit in some crazy rant about something or, you know, jibber jabber. But this time, I am making sure I made some time for you guys. So I do apologize for not having something the last couple times. Man, I cannot believe that it had, it is like the end of the year now. It's almost a new year. I literally have no idea where the year went. Like, the next, like, I can't already imagine that the next stream, you know, the next the process, pain, whatever, this is going to be already in 2020, but it's exactly how it's going to be. So I think today I'm going to like recap the whole year and it's going to be from what I remember which you all know my memory is not very good, so I guess I we're gonna do that. All right, so since we're talking Patreon, we're just gonna do the Patreon year. And from what I remember, we started it off the year with uh, Chinese New Year, and it was the year of the pig. And that one was a really fun project to do for the wallpaper, you know, lots of fireworks and stuff. Um, so that one was pretty neat. I think that month two, um, we started doing a lot of little like side projects or at least started some side projects like comic stuff. And then I believe I actually ended up designing a persona for myself finally got around to doing zero as you all know um so that was kind of, that was an interesting time because i was like debating on making him or not and everyone was like do it come to the dark side <laughs> so decided to do that oh there's grim he doesn't like it when i'm talking to nobody at least he thinks it's nobody he screams about it so there was that for that. I don't think I designed anything else around that time for character wise unless it was like for the wallpaper but that's all right. And then Easter came around and you guys picked the cute little bunny goddess and that was a lot of fun too and lots of crazy nature stuff. You, you guys already know like I super enjoy <laughs> painting trees and and uh natural backgrounds because I don't I think really it's just the overall like I'm not very good at buildings but that's okay you know this year I can practice more buildings maybe we'll see how that goes knowing me it will probably have to get done because well you know different settings are always a good idea uh so after Easter, it's usually my birthday. So I don't, other than the wallpaper, I don't think I did anything too crazy. I know I redesigned the little um, cute uh, reward images. So lots of the little drinks, which I still want to do a bunch more of just for the Discord. I would like to do drinks and treats when I have the chance to uh, add to our little collection of <laughs> cafe stuff, which hopefully I could do that for next year, which I'm sure we'll have more in store. We started flashbacks around then, and I know we have to get back on that so you guys can uh, see the old stuff because that's always fun to cringe at, right? After that... It was around mermaid, I believe, because I actually did some mermaid stuff for that. 
which you know when it comes to the prompt stuff for most of the I guess like the year for the artists I don't always get to do um like what's happening at that time because at the time usually I'm doing commissions or something so it's like super nice to be able to do a wallpaper for mermaid um I think I was still doing doodles and stuff for personal work probably trying to figure out what brush settings I like because that's always the problem I'm always going through brushes and I think that same month I ended up getting the comic I was working on it was a small comic but it's like nine pages long but I did get that comic finally out after a couple months of working on it little by little did some personal work I think and I believe I did some watercolors as well which I was able to scan with the scanner that we ended up getting for that so May was actually a good a good month I believe it, it's later in the in the year that things slow down um after mermaid it was like the the penguin because it was father's uh day month so i wanted to do something like single father appreciation so the fathers <laughs> got some love and you guys picked the penguins and i figured my brain went straight to like happy feet and the fact that the dads take care of the eggs so that was a that was a cute wallpaper and i had a lot of fun with that see the next month yeah and july was like super duper busy um for me i don't actually remember why it was super busy um but it was it was pretty bad um i had to rush a lot of stuff and, and I didn't feel super proud that month about my work, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and you gotta take the loss that, you know, not everything you make is gonna be completely perfect or you're gonna be super happy with it. But you know, I got to a point where I was happy enough with it that I figured I'll do better the next month. So sometimes you just gotta do like I said, kind of get over with with it. Next the month after was peach season, so in August. So you guys got a nice little peach themed wallpaper for that. I thought it would be really cute. Like most of the times, most of the times, um, the wallpapers do have a reason. They are done the way they are. There's always like some type of story behind them. So... Like, even though I don't write out or tell you guys what the story is, um, I do like to have some type of idea on what direction I am trying to go with it. So, hopefully that kind of shows when I do these wallpapers for you guys. Um, let me know if it doesn't. <laughs> if you guys actually want me to write something about why my process was the way it was, well, let me know and I can do that. It's probably a really weird process, but at least you'd know, right? Um, in September, you guys ended up picking a raven. And I like that one just because I always think about um, all, all the stuff they like to collect and shiny things. That one was pretty good. I don't get to do a lot of personal work that month. But... That's okay. There's some months that I'm like super duper heavy on and then other months where I just don't have time in between work to get like doodles for myself done. But then there's some months that it's like, oh, I have so much time. I guess I'll just go and do all these little things. <laughs> like, you know, all down for hopefully next year I'll have a lot more time. I always say that, but I'm always busy. <laughs> it's like I'm lying to myself. <laughs> That's okay. Eventually we'll get there. And then around October, which is like the best time of the year, 
you know, I got to do an awesome cryptid wallpaper. I also got married to silver. So that month was really crammed with stuff, but was like super worth it. We all left to Chicago and you guys already know because we talked about it a million times before we headed out. And then we were getting ready to the end of the year. And you guys got a pretty little princess. Um, fox in uh, November. Which I thought was a lot of fun. But I'm always learning new stuff. So I'm hoping that through the year you've seen the progression of my process and Hopefully things have gotten better and <laughs> not worse. And here we are now in December and I'm hoping to get to, you know, to give you guys a good piece that you guys enjoy to use, you know. So yeah, I think that's like Patreon wise, like the biggest things that has happened through the year. It kind of went like super quick. It really did. And like just feel super grateful that you guys were able to stick around and enjoy the year for those who you know were here for the beginning and those who were weren't you know I am glad you popped in when you guys did like I super appreciate it and I'm I really hope you enjoyed or have enjoyed everything that I've done this year and I'm pretty sure don't quote me on this but we are planning I'm pretty sure to do some changes to patreon um stuff hopefully for the better and I just hope that you know you're here next year too and if not I'll thank you right now for supporting me through this whole year I really appreciate it thank you guys and happy new year to all of my patrons and anyone else who watches this and supports me. Thank you so much. And of course, a shout out to my patrons. Blazy, Blisket, Escalator, Jesse, Luxy Shadowcast, Marshall Twilight, Ryozen, Savannah Sage, Tef Forbidden, Unicorn, and a special thank you to two lovely people this time around, Scully and Dakota Vega. Thank you all so much.